So, um, I did a quick recording of scanning one of my Ninja Turtles, uh, and this to me, this it was Leonardo, and Leonardo his pose was very was very complex. Um, his he's crouching, like he has his arm sort of like overlapping his his leg, and I thought it would be like really cool to share this with you because um, I thought it was going to cost me a bunch of issues through the overlap, but it was actually a surprising result. So um, here's a quick scan of how I how I did the turtle. Um, well, to start with, um, I didn't have I didn't do any adjustments in GM Studio. Um, I grabbed the the scanner straight out of the box i love the size of the scan the scanner it's small comfortable and very easy to handle i was able to rotate manually um the um you know the sculpture as i scanned it and it, it's very important to keep in mind i it hardware it is important for the efficiency of the software and the scanner i have a i9 processor which is a very um, high-end computer that it was able to handle the amount of uh, frames uh, at at one shot. I did only a couple of scans and then fused them, and it gave me this really good result. Um, so I was I was very impressed, and uh, I mean it it captured just like all the details, you know. Um, this is the seal light, so it's like a step down of the seal um, in terms of uh, precision scanning. But it gave me just enough information for me to work um, my sculpture and like bring it into ZBrush and like model it even further and polish it and prepare it for three D printing. Um, so I have the uh, the file here so we could see it a little bit closer. Um, let me go ahead and share another screen. Let's see if I have this open. Okay, good. Okay, share. Let's see. Okay, there you go bring it up. I have like multiple screens here that I'm working with. Let's see, can I maximize these? There you go. Okay. So um, I had fusion. Um, I did a little bit of a remove noise when I made the fusion, but let me show you the first uh, scan, right? This, this is what I got after I, you know, scan it without any, any post process. As you can see, right, it looks very messy. But after pro processing, um, I got this result, which was, I was very happy. Um, you know, some noise per usual, you know, this is normal part of the scanning process. Um, but this can be removed with just a simple remove noise, which is, it was super easy. Um, so I noticed that um, I missed the underside of the hand. As you can see here, there's a hollow part right here. So, um, and, and you could see here also, like, like there, there you go. You could see it a little bit better from this angle. So I went in and uh, did a second pass of the hand, and it was much smaller. You know, as you could see here, I just did this uh, this piece and did a second fusion, and it gave me this result. Let me see if I can straighten this model. There you go. Much better. So one thing I wanted to add was um, after fusion this, uh, if make creating the fusion the fusion of the this model itself i exported it as an obj uh, just going file and then export then apply and that's going to load up a process it's going to process the file and then it's going to place that file in your folder 
and then you can open that directly from any 3D modeling software, which is really nice. Let's see. So I think that I could show you guys a another another turtle. Let's go ahead and open up Raphael because this is the one that you showed in the banner. So let's see if this opens. Probably need some time to uh, to scan. Oh, there you go. By the way, um, Stephanie or Adam, do we have a link that we could share um, online to some of my followers? Because I I know I know that some people on my page were interested in in watching the stream. So is there a link that I could? Is it the link that you sent me on my email? Of course, we oh. can share the link to you. Okay, perfect. the live room so we, we, we need to share the youtube facebook. channel or facebook channels link oh yeah definitely yeah. De definitely share those through through instagram because i have a bunch of people that uh, were following you on instagram i think what people would be Maybe really Harry interested can in. help us through that yeah okay great just wait for a second Maybe your followers can also join our live mm -hmm. So when if so I did two two takes on Leonardo and look you know it took me like 10 minutes to do the the entire scan but then it took a while for it to process I recommend that if if you have let's say a processor not as powerful to do several scans do smaller scans and then fuse fuse them as you go so that will help your computer sort of like take the take the load you know like really um process it in an efficient way um if you do too many frames it might you know your computer might struggle a little bit so just keep those things in mind all right so well you know what let's while this is loading I am going to uh, show you the 